Wow, dude, I did not see this coming. And if you guys haven't seen it, let's go ahead and dive into it right now, man. My Jay Sanders has been officially cut by the Arizona Cardinals. If you guys know, man, I was really high on him coming out of college, so this is very surprising to me. I thought he could have been something special in the league. I don't know why it didn't pan out. I don't know what happened. It's still super early in his young career. But the Arizona Cardinals, man, they parted ways with him for whatever reason, and I'm not sure what it is. I think it came down to one of two things. I really do feel like this outside linebacker room is very crowded. You have Cam Thomas, Victor Dimakiji, and then you have BJ Ojolari, who hasn't even played a ton of snaps yet. I believe he hasn't even cracked 50% yet. We'll get into that in just a second. Then you have Zayvon Collins, who's making the transition to outside linebacker. And then you have Dennis Gardick as well, who has been highly productive in his limited snap count. So the Arizona Cardinals probably thought he was just the odd man out. Like it really could have just came down to that. And if you look at the outside linebackers, man, you have players like Cam Thomas, who are barely cracking the rotation over 50%. And you got to implement BJ Ojolari because he's one of the best outside linebackers on this roster in terms terms of potential. Obviously, I think as it stands right now, you have Dennis Gardick and Zayvon Collins, but the Arizona Cardinals have a lot of guys they're trying to implement, and as it stands right now, MyJ Sanders just wasn't one of them. We take a look at the snap count. In terms of week six, Zayvon Collins dominated the majority. He had 65% of the snaps. Then you have Dennis Gardick right behind with 46, Victor Dimakiji 32 right behind him, Cam Thomas 44, and then BJ Ojolari 32. You can make an argument right now that every single one of these outside linebackers here are better than MyJ Sanders as it stands, so I kind of understand it. It's just tough because I really did think highly of him, but clearly the direction is not there for him. And the Cardinals have had no problem cutting anybody in the past. We did it with DeAndre Hopkins. We did it with Isaiah Simmons trading for a seventh round pick. If you're not a fit for the team, you're going to get cut. They have no ties with you like that. And my Jay Sanders is a victim of that as well. If you're not a Monty Austin Fort guy, he doesn't have that tie with you. He has no problems cutting ways. And that's what happened today. Crazy cut, man. I didn't see this coming whatsoever. I kind of understand it though. We're too loaded to the position. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this down in the comment section below. With that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you guys ended up enjoying, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and Arizona Cardinals related content. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. Like I said, man, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. And love is love. And hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes.